Chelsea defender Antonio Rudiger signs for Real Madrid. Chelsea defender Antonio Rudiger has joined La Liga side Real Madrid on a free transfer, it has been confirmed. The 29-year-old is out of contract at the end of June and will be officially presented as a player in Madrid on June 20. Chelsea and Real Madrid have officially confirmed his departure, ending a fine spell at the club. Rudiger leaves having been a huge part of the side to win the UEFA Champions League last season, and also lifted the FA Cup during his time at Stamford Bridge. The German made his final appearance against Watford on the last game of the season, being substituted and receiving a warm farewell. Reflecting on his time at Chelsea in a recent goodbye interview, Rudiger said, For me it is important to always give everything for the badge, for the supporters. I'd say I always tried my best. I will still give you stick for calling me a legend. It's tough for me because even yesterday, the last time at Cobham, it's tough. Thank you very much for the support. I will never forget this club. This club will always be special. Here we are like a family. Chelsea will be looking to dip into the transfer market in search of a replacement for the defender, with Thomas Tuchel set to overhaul his squad under the new ownership at the club. Rudiger will surely be missed as the fan favourite departs for Los Blancos and the search for further success in his career. Chelsea asked Jules Koundé to ignore other offers amid pending transfer. Chelsea have asked Jules Koundé to ignore offers from other clubs amid his pending transfer to the club in the summer, according to reports. The Blues are set to sign the Frenchman in the upcoming transfer window, having previously been linked with a move last summer from his current club Sevilla. He is likely to be the first signing of the club's new ownership, with the consortium led by Todd Burley and Clear Lake Capital officially taking over from Roman Abramovich earlier in the week. According to ABC Sevilla, via Sport Witness, Chelsea have told Kunde to ignore offers from other clubs as they look to sign him in the coming weeks. It is believed that the West London side are convinced that they will be able to reach an agreement with Sevilla in order to bring the centre back to Stamford Bridge. Kunde himself is also convinced that should he join this summer, he will be the club's first choice defender. Sevilla will not accept a fee of less than €65 million Euros to sign him as per other reports, with Chelsea now able to operate in the transfer market amid their recent takeover. There were questions raised over Kunda's proposed move to Chelsea after the La Liga club also sold fellow centre-back Diego Carlos to Aston Villa. However it is believed that such a transfer will not affect the Blues' pursuit of the 23-year-old this summer. Kunde made 44 appearances in all competitions for his club in the season just gone netting three goals and assisting one other. Lautaro Martinez hands Chelsea transfer blow amid Stamford Bridge links. Inter Milan striker Lautaro Martinez has handed Chelsea a transfer blow after admitting he wants to stay at his current club beyond the summer. Thomas Tuchel's side may be looking to sign a new striker in the upcoming transfer window as a result of the struggles from Romelu Lukaku in the recent campaign. He became the club's record signing last summer but struggled in front of goal for most of the season after an encouraging start on his return to the Premier League side. It was reported earlier in the week that Chelsea are considering making a move for Martinez in the summer window. However the 24-year-old has now dealt the Blues a blow after he admitted that he wants to remain at Inter for next season. When speaking to the media after Argentina's 3-0 win against Italy on Wednesday night in the finalissima, via football. London. He said, my plan is clear. I really want to stay at Inter next season. I've not received communications from the club as of today. I want to continue at Inter next season. Both Martinez and Lukaku played at Inter together during the 2020-21 campaign, winning the Serie A title. The former made 49 appearances for the club in all competitions in the season just gone, netting 25 goals and assisting another four. He is one of the speculated players who Chelsea may look to sign in the summer window ahead of the next campaign, with Christopher Nkunku being another reported attacking target who could make a move to Stamford Bridge. Emerson Palmieri makes honest admission about good club, Chelsea ahead of loan return. Chelsea wing-back Emerson Palmieri has made an honest admission regarding the club as he prepares to return from his loan spell at Lyon ahead of the new season. The 27-year-old is set to return and fight for his place in Thomas Tuchel's squad for next season, with rumours circulating about Marcos Alonso's future. Speaking to the Daily Mail, Emerson has made an honest admission about his parent club following his spell in France. When asked about a potential return in the summer, the Italian international said, It's a good place for me, a good club. But I don't know. Let's see the next moves what can happen.
I've not spoken to the coach. Emerson continued to discuss his year spent in France, admitting that it has been good for him to play football during his period away from Chelsea. For me personally it's been a good season, I played a lot of games. Let's see what happens in the future. I have a contract with Chelsea. I've played there for three years and won some things. If I need to go back there I'm happy. The Blues attempted to recall their wing back in the January transfer window following a long-term injury to Ben Chilwell but Leon would not let the 27-year-old return, with Emerson having to wait until the end of the season to be reunited with his Chelsea teammates. It remains to be seen as to what the future holds as Tuchel appears to want to make the wing back part of his squad once more next season. Marina Granovskaya is set to leave Chelsea as club decide top choice to succeed her. Chelsea director Marina Granovskaya is set to leave Stamford Bridge this summer despite Todd Burley's attempts to keep her and the club are already lining up a successor, according to reports. The Russian-Canadian has been a close ally of Roman Abramovich for more than 20 years and was described as his de facto, chief of staff, with the pair first meeting when she joined his Russian oil company in 1997. Granovskaya represented Abramovich at Chelsea after he bought the club and was appointed to the board in 2013, becoming a key figurehead. She has been responsible for overseeing the football side of the club operation, including player contracts, managerial appoints and dismissals, and transfers. Granovskaya has become a formidable and highly respected operator and was named the best club director in European football at last year's Golden Ball Awards, which is run by Italian paper Tuttersport. All of the final shortlisted bidders looking to buy Chelsea from Abramovich had been keen to keep Granovskaya at the club, with new owner Burley speaking to both her and chairman Bruce Buck about remaining in West London. But while Buck will continue in his role, German newspaper Sport Bild claimed Granovskaya has decided to leave and will end her long association with the club at the end of August. Chelsea are already thinking about a successor and their top choice is Andrea Berta, who is currently the sporting director at Spanish side Atletico Madrid. Conor Gallagher heaps praise on Chelsea Academy for producing England stars. Chelsea midfielder Conor Gallagher has hailed the Blues Academy for the output of players that they produce for the national team. The 22-year-old has had a fine spell at Crystal Palace this season and received his first England caps under Gareth Southgate. Speaking to TalkSport, Gallagher gave credit to Chelsea's academy when speaking during international duty. Mason Mount, Rhys James, Gallagher, Tammy Abraham and Fakeo Tomori have all been called up for the latest squad for the Three Lions, having come through the Chelsea Academy. Discussing the quality of the players coming through, Gallagher heaped praise on those in charge at Cobham. He said, it's a lot of credit to how it's run. The coaches, Neil Barth and Jim Fraser, and the way their philosophies and players they've produced is amazing. The midfielder continued to discuss how the Blues ensure that they do not just make good players but that those coming through Cobham are also humble and hard-working. One of the guys at Palace said to me, every player that's come through Chelsea I've met is always very humble and hard-working, they all are. That's a credit to Chelsea, he finalised. Gallagher will be hoping that he can earn his place in Thomas Tuchel's starting eleven next season as he looks to return from the successful spell in South London. However, the Englishman has refused to be drawn into speculation over his future as he continued, I am going to be honest that's all I am thinking about, the next four games here. I want to do well. I have not really thought about it. That is on Chelsea News today. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye and see you by tomorrow news.